everyone loves a parade, right? I love a parade. Of course you do. Well, Dallas has its fair share of great ones. For example, the St. Patrick's Day Parade and the Children's Health Holiday Parade, just to name two. The former occurs in March and the latter in December. So what's a parade-loving North Texan to do in between? Well, luckily, smack in between those two events on the calendar is the parade that is by far closest to my heart, the Allen Ross Texas Freedom Parade. <coughs> what? Never heard of the Allen Ross Texas Freedom Parade? Well, I'll let you in on a little secret. The Allen Ross Texas Freedom Parade is the formal name for the Dallas Pride Parade. So get your rainbow flag flying high and let's go out and about to the Allen Ross Texas Freedom Parade. Now, before we get to the festivities, let's play Did You Know? Did you know? The first Dallas Pride March took place in June of 1972. It had between 250 and 300 participants marching in the streets of downtown Dallas, drawing an estimated 3,000 people watching the procession. The second march naturally followed in June of 1973. But Dallas didn't see a significant gay pride event again until June of 1980, when the parade was moved to the Oaklawn area of Dallas. Did you know? Since the Stonewall Riots of June 1969 acted as the tipping point for the modern gay rights movement, June has commonly been accepted as LGBT Pride Month. So why does Dallas Pride occur in September? Well, in September 1982, a significant event for the LGBT community occurred in Texas. An August ruling by Judge Jerry L. Buckmeyer went into effect that struck down the Texas sodomy law. In commemoration of this, the Tavern Guild, who had just taken over the organization of the Dallas Pride Parade, not only renamed it to the Texas Freedom Parade, but moved it to September as a remembrance of the milestone. <laughs> and you thought it was moved just because June in Texas is too hot. Did you know? The parade's namesake, Alan Ross, was a leader and activist for the LGBT community. He was executive director of the Tavern Guild, and was the driving organizational force behind the Texas Freedom Parade from its early days in the 80s. He was co-grand marshal of the parade in 1988, and in 1991 the Tavern Guild decided to honor Alan Ross for his many years of work on the parade and other community endeavors by naming the parade after him. Alan Ross passed away in 1995, but his legacy of advancing the cause for LGBT rights lives on today through the Alan Ross Texas Freedom Parade. The Allen Ross Texas Freedom Parade marches through the heart of the Oaklawn area of Dallas, the epicenter of which is located at the corner of Oaklawn and Cedar Springs. Cedar Springs is the home of many LGBT-owned and operated businesses and clubs, and acts as the main drag, no pun intended, for the parade. Today, thousands of people line both sides of Cedar Springs to take in the festive floats and bask in the pride of the LGBT community. So without further ado, Let's take a stroll through the sights and sounds of the Alan Ross Texas Freedom Parade over the past 10 years.
yet another wonderful reason to live in North Texas. Remember, if you want to live in the vicinity of this event, please contact me and I'll be happy to share with you the homes that are available nearby. I'm Rich Lewis of Texas Pride Realty, and I've been your intrepid guide. I hope you've enjoyed experiencing one of the many great things that this area has to offer its residents. If you have, please like, plus one, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more adventures as we go out and about in North Texas.